All right, welcome back to the episode of our Gilders One playthrough in Nightfall. And I think it's long overdue time to bring back our old uh, noob proof farming method. And I've kind of put Elias as my VIP um, hero because I pretty much bring him every chance I get all the time. So I think he deserves an upgrade in his item. And I'm going to be looking for a necromancer boss somewhere over here. Uh, that, I th that I know has a death staff. I think it's a pretty good one. I had to consult the wiki. Which I usually don't like to do. But for this I uh, made an exception. But yeah so we're going to see if this build will work. It's a... Necromancer boss called I think it's a it's a scale boss um, and I'm not even sure if my build right now is gonna work right now we're just gonna kind of scout the area if we get it on the first try that would be amazing but uh, probably not so I just want to I just want to at least find out where he is and s then we'll kind of tweak the build a little bit to see um, the best way of taking him out Typically, this energy surge does do quite a lot of damage by its, but I don't know if it'll be enough to shut down and solo the boss as we need to. So I'm gonna head this way. I think it's a northeast direction, somewhere over here. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I might need to use my heroes to weaken him and especially take out the adds around him without killing him because I need to I need to be able to finish him off without my heroes being around so it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a tough feat to do um, again we're just kind of scouting it out kind of see the best way to go through so far able to avoid all enemies I think I'm gonna have to fight this group here they're creeping a little too close Right? I, they don't seem to know I'm here. There we go. That was like the most delayed reaction ever. Yeah, I think my... Um, the problem with this build right now, it's I'm, I'm realizing it's not going to work, is my casting times are a little too slow. So we'll see. I might, what I might do is keep my henchmen near me and send all, or keep my heroes near me and send all my henchmen away. And I think the four of us should be able to take him out. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm looking for the boss. I think he's this direction. Maybe he's up there. Yeah, I think I went too far. I went too much directly east. I think I need to go up that way. I don't know. Let's just see. Because I'm pretty sure it is this direction. Somewhere in this area. Ooh, we got a little bottleneck right here. Perfect spot for a chaos storm. Still not seeing the enemy. Uh, how did we get? Okay. We got a chest here, and I have one more lockpick left. Whoa, these heckets. What the heck is going on? We got ambushed by. Oh, this is it. This is the boss. Okay. Uh, let's take out the adds first. It looks like we're going to get pincer attacked, though. Alright, do not attack the boss. I don't even know where he's at. There he is. Oh, no. He's weakened. Don't attack him.
He's still alive. He's still alive. He's dead. Dang. We'll go ahead and capture Tainted Flesh. Man, he's pretty weak. He he went down too fast. This is going to be difficult to solo him, actually. Whoa! Ru Rune of Major Vigor. Wow. Look at that drop. Wow, I'm glad I was recording this. Heck yes. Look at that. Whoops, I don't want to remove Domination Magic. That is expensive. Let's put it on our gloves yeah look at that rune of major vigor what a drop heck yes that was worse all right and we got a we got a new um uh necromancer skill all right so what's the best way to solo this guy um I'm not going to use Energy Surge. Uh, Conundrum Spiker might be good. Something that does single target damage, I think. So I need to get rid of Sin. And I'm going to go more uh, single target because I don't want I don't want too much AOE. Get, oh what I can't use costs. Um let's use Aiden or someone. Devona. Devona might be good. And Zed, he does too much AoE as well, I think. So we'll remove Zed for Um Zenmai? What does she do? Yeah, she does single target. Okay. Um and for my build. Yeah, don't want that. That's too much AoE. Uh, what could we use? Yeah, Migraine might be good. Yeah, we'll use Migraine. It's another Illusion. I'm using Illusion and Domination, I guess. I don't know why I'm using Domination, honestly. This is a strange build. I don't know if I'm the one who made this build or not. <laughs> Did I get this from someone else? Anyway, I'm going to be spamming Migraine. I don't know. Let's try this. Honestly, he goes down pretty fast. It looks like. So my original my original plan stands, is just get him alone, send my henchmen away, and just use my heroes. Let's see how it goes. So he spawns right there. There's too many enemies. I don't need to walk as far forward as I did though. That's a good thing. I still can't believe I got that. Rune of Major Vigor. It's very valuable. Switch to our illusion set. Oh, I forgot to bring Shattered Delusions. Whatever. I don't know why I brought Phantom Pain, actually. We're just stacking... Um, we're just stacking lots of degeneration. Whoops. That's what we wanted. 
Wow, migraine 12 second recharge time is pretty great. I'm gonna have to fight for this chest since I didn't open the last one. It's weird how you can get off so many skills before they actually notice. Yeah. Fast forward through this. Ah, oh, it was broken. That elder crocodile didn't have pet next to his name. I wonder if it would be tameable. See, all of these elder crocodiles have pet next to it. These guys don't have any real self-healing. And e since they're rangers, even though if they probably have troll unguent, um, my my degeneration is definitely more powerful than that. So they're pretty useless. Okay, so I need to draw aggro here. And I don't think it's possible to take those guys out without aggroing the boss. So I wanna... Oh, there's another boss there. Is he a ranger? He's a ranger, I think. Might be able to farm two bosses together. Let's try that. So don't attack him. Send our heroes away. And I have some minions here to help me. And I should be able to solo him. Like I said, Rangers will be very doable with my. He's got Troll Unguent, but I'm gonna out the Jin his healing, I think. Pretty easily. And I can interrupt it. Next time he tries to use it, I'm gonna interrupt it. Like that. And then I can interrupt it again with this, like that, and he'll go down. 
I didn't get that green item, but he's easily farmable with our build. And then let's do the same thing with this Knight Rider, or whatever his name is. I don't even know what boss that was. They're right next to each other. That's really nice. Alright, so let's try and aggro this group. And do the same thing. When, there he goes. Alright. Let's bring them up here. The Nightbringer. I'm alive. Make sure I heal myself. There we go. Good, he's still alive. We'll do the same thing. I think I can out heal or out damage his heals too. With migraine. And I can remove his enchantment too. Attack me, buddies. Yeah, we got him. Oh, he hurts. Vile touch really hurts. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Alright. Maybe not? Heal me up again. Heal me up. Alright, go away. I can finish him off. Ah, just an elegant scythe. Okay, this is doable. Okay, take two. We're going to pick up this blessing here. It's kind of nice, this farm, because there's two... There's two blessings you can get that can help mitigate some damage and improve my my damage as well. So it's a pretty nice farm because you get two enemies next to each other, the ranger and this necromancer. So hopefully we'll be able to get items for two Margaret and Elias. It'd be really nice. Super great. And I'm kind of happy with this build. I bet it could be a little more optimized, but I think the Dejin works well, really well against this Ranger. Plus the interrupts work well against interrupting his heals. Well, there's kind of, there we go, they turned around. I wanna fight a little bit more this direction. Should be fine. And since it's single target degeneration, it allows me to not worry about uh, accidentally killing the boss while I'm taking out the minions. It works well. Honestly, I like... My method of farming obviously is not as good as using just like a super optimized solo farming build as far as like drop rates and stuff, but it's... It's really easy to pull off, I think. Okay, let me just take out this last crocodile. No, crocodile. Oh my gosh. It's really easy to pull off, I feel. And, whoops, I wasted my interrupt. And it, it opens up the door for farming, like, kind of obscure green items that yeah, like, I think I think this would be a really hard boss. Like, double bosses to solo farm. Maybe there isn't even a solo farm for it. But doing it this way is essentially solo farming. Because I just send my henchmen away. And look, second try, we get a green drop. 
<laughs> Bow drop. That's crazy. I I really like the new proof. Proving it right, you know? So it's Dezebel's horn Hornboats. Solid white. Um, I think this skin comes from factions, actually. Very interesting stats. Permanent plus 15% damage. The permanent minus 5 energy. But it's zealous, so you get that energy back. It obviously would be good as a barrage. For a barrage build, which I think we're going to run for um, Margaret next. She's using a almost perfect gold weapon. This is also good for barrage because of the life drain. Interesting. I think her current bow might be better, actually. Uh, what do you guys think? We'll try it out. It is green. So it has that going for it. And it looks cool. So what is her energy set? Set to 20. So it's really not a good bow to use for her current build. Definitely be better use for a barrage build, I think. But honestly, I think the plus 15% damage. I bet you this like life draining, the five, the five life drain per hit, it probably ends up doing more damage overall right then the plus 15 percent i don't know i don't know if this is a good bow or not honestly i like the plus 30 health i mean a zealous bow is good in certain situations but the the, the permanent minus five energy is really tough that's interesting all right let's go after nightbringer now look at i'm i'm pretty pleased second second attempt got a green item it's not the item we really wanted, but still got it. Alright, let's pull these guys back a little bit. Okay. Um, let's spawn Echo the boss. There we go. Need to keep my bone horrors alive because they helped me. Um, they really helped a lot against the boss. Help, helped me last time against the boss. No, not yet. You're being really aggressive. Good thing about this mob boss or this uh, group is there's no monk. So, again, it's a pretty good build that we have here. It's still alive. I'm not sure why my teammates are dying so far. I need you to heal me a little bit first. I'm about to die. Alright, we got him. He's done. Second attempt. Green item? Ah, not quite. Alright, so we got second attempt. We we got the we got the bow. On the second try, we did not get the um, the uh, Nightbringer that we want. But let's see if we're lucky on the third attempt. All right, this is attempt three. And I guess I'm not going to be farming the Ranger boss anymore. Since we already got a successful run on him, we're just going to go after Nightbringer. Nice. Not even max though. What what is that? What has he got? Really horrible. Really garbage. Garbage staff. I like the plus five energy 
hail or the insightful staff piece or staff head that's not bad I mean it's perfect but the other stuff is just awful I mean I, it's worth just selling it 240 gold and we retained our lock pits that's good basically I'm just tapping through the enemies and you know th these together is minus seven so in in a matter of a couple seconds I can have you know like minus 15 um, minus 15 health degeneration obviously not on one person but spread throughout enemy parties that's pretty good yeah so forget about that guy from now let's just go after Nightbringer All right, this is attempt three, going after the Nightbringer. We got the bow from the Ranger on our second attempt. Let's see if we can get lucky with Nightbringer. Pretty easy farm. Nightbringer gets a little bit hairy because it does, he, d he uses Vile Touch, which does pretty massive damage. But his adds are really easy, and he doesn't have any healing. I don't think. And there's no monk healers or ritualist healers or whatever. This will be really nice to get for Elias. He deserves a green item. He's kind of MVP. MVP hero at this point. Okay, he's got three minions. Let's try and fight up here. Get the aggro off. I don't want to aggro that group. There we go. Wow, these guys spawned all the way over there. What's that about? Ah, oh, I missed the... I missed the uh, interrupt. I'm not sure what well he's using. Okay, I need to send them away. Let me take out that Hecate first. Alright, go, go, go. Get out of here, guys. This is gonna be close. I think I'm dead. Always close. Dang it. It got me. Will I get the drop? I think I'll kill him though. Oh no. It's okay. I'll just respawn and then cast migraine. Yeah. Should be fine now. Let's get the full degeneration on him. And then I'll just run away from him. And I'm going to save Drain Enchantment. There we go. Oh, no drop. 736 experience, though, since we're soloing him. That's huge. That's crazy a lot. Okay, take number four. I've uh, been unsuccessful so far. Uh, I also noticed I was kind of wasting money getting the blessing every time. And it didn't make that big of an advantage to, to um, you know, require me to, to get the blessing. Like, 
I'm gonna complete I'm gonna be able to pull this off successfully with or without the blessing so I figured it was kind of a waste of money did make some changes to Elo Elias's skill bar I gave him flesh golem because I noticed having minions made this run much easier to solo I mean technically I guess it's not soloing also a lot of the Hecates have like crocodiles and stuff so having a mini mi minion master in this area is a really good idea I'm not gonna go after the bow the ranger uh, green item anymore because I already got it and what else what else yeah I haven't been successful yet this is attempt number four let's see if we can pull it off Still can't believe I got the bow on the second try. And then on the first try, I got this rune of major vigor. That was awesome. Alright, we have... He's got five minions up. Let's take out this group. Come on. Oh, did I aggro there? Oh, so some Hecates pop up. There we go. Sometimes the group seems way bigger. What? Oh, my. That's the problem with the minions. They're fighting down there. Hey, don't. Don't kill the boss. Oh, it looks like they're gonna kill the boss. This was a fail from the aggro standpoint. Let me send them back. I think I can finish them off by myself. Take out the Hecate. Ah, uh, just a... Oh, Zen Mai and Devona were still here. I still got a gold job, but that's a shame. Alright, so that was a that was an issue of bad aggro. They didn't pop up until, like, I got all the way over here. That was lame. Alright, take four fail. Okay, take five. Having a dry spell, also kind of a weird turn of like aggros on the last on the Nightbringer boss. Kind of tricky getting his his uh, thing to spawn up. Is that another boss there, Admiral Kaya? Oh, let's do another. Yeah, let's do another one. This one might be tough to. This one might be tougher to do because I don't really have a place for for my to send my team. But let's try and uh, add a boss to our new proof farming run. I think I can just send them back to to the base or to the outpost direction. Cool. Wow, this area has tons of bosses. I'm assuming he's a He's a paragon, it looks like. So I'm assuming he drops like a spear or... Sh I mean, yeah, he either drops a spear or a shield. It's not really any mystery there. Just be careful who I click on. Actually, he looks more like a dervish, doesn't he? Can't really tell. I don't see any weapon in his hand. Okay. Take out the doctor. Alright. Now Kaya's up. Alright, let's wait a little bit. Oh, he's an assassin. Oh, I should have brought... I don't know what he's using, though. I should have brought, um... Signet of Capture for him. Alright, they're gone. This will be easy. Go, go, go. Die. Nothing. Alright. Maybe a rune. Maybe we'll get a rune. Cool. So there's another boss we can farm. Oops, wrong one. <clears throat> Sentries, Vitae. Vitae's not bad. I think it's worth some money, actually.
All right, let's continue. All right, so we added a little bit of time to our run now because we're going to be farming Kaya plus Nightbringer. Might be able to get Zin Mai some new daggers, even though she's already got Zhu Cao's daggers from my original new proof farming method episode. If you did not check that one out, that one did pretty well. Seemed to be pretty popular, so if you didn't watch that one yet, we should go back and watch it. I don't want to aggro those guys. Looks like it's going to be unavoidable. I guess I'll start picking up these tongs. Ah, yeah, I'm going to have to fight them. Go Nightbringer. Will this be the one? Honestly, yeah. If I get Nightbringer, I probably will not continue to to farm Admiral Kaya because I don't really need any green da any more green daggers. But if we happen to get the green daggers on the way to Nightbringer, it'll just be kind of a bonus. And I'm definitely gonna capture whatever skill he has. Uh, next run. I'm assuming it's some Nightfall assassin skill. Might be fun to adjust Zenmai's build that way. My main is actually an assassin, and I do not remember that. I don't remember the, the skill that that boss has. So what is this well? Is it a disease well or something? Hmm. All right. I want to make sure the wells are gone. I'm going to aggro. I'm going to ping them a little bit farther back so that my minions do not run down here and mess things up for me. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Alright. It's weird that one spawns like all the way over there. Alright, this is a really good pull because all the mobs are up front and then the boss is in the back. It's exactly what we want. Makes it very easy to do this now. I think the problem with minions is I can't really tell them not to attack the boss, so I need to hurry up and tell them to go back. Tell my henchmen to go back. Did they already kill him? Ah, oh, Zen Mai. Zen Mai goes hard. She does way too much damage. Ugh. Yeah, she does way too much damage. I need to ping her. I need to ping her to avoid combat right away whenever the boss is almost gone okay number six uh and i noticed in my last run that there's another boss here admiral kaya so i brought signet of capture and i'm going to hopefully see whatever green daggers he has maybe they're better than what zen mai is using zen mai is kind of messing things up for me though it's gonna be an issue. Oh. I'm getting I'm getting aggroed right now. Here we go. Let's take out My monk is getting taken out. Coarser mind reader. The doctor is gone. Why are they so tanky? Go. 
I think these admirals might have some. No, don't kill him yet. Don't kill him yet. Forget I can ping on the minimap there. See, Zimai was up there again. And Devona's still there. Ah, that's so lame. They get stuck. Alright. Devona and Zinmai died. And I think just even though they're dead, I think they mess up the drop rate by being there. I'm not sure about that. Oh, look, it's uh, Hidden Caltrops. Your non-assassin skills are disabled for 10 seconds. For one second, target foe moves 50% slower. When this skill ends, that foe is crippled. Huh? So it slows them down. It's very cheap, very fast recharge. I'm not really worried about these heck so I'm gonna keep studying this. Your non-assassin skills are disabled. What's the point of that? That's such a disadvantage. Target bow moves 50% slower. So I, I want to see what that scales up to. And then after this hex ends, so after 10 seconds. Oh, wait, wait, no. After that period of time. Yeah, how long does this hex last? That's the question. When this hex ends, that foe is crippled for one second. It doesn't tell me the hex duration. That's such a weird skill. How long is the hex duration? Your skills are disabled for 10 seconds. For one second. I guess it's the uh, target foe moves 50% slower f that, first, that first time uh, period. Yeah, the first time period must be this hex duration. And then once that is over, they're crippled. That's a really weird skill, honestly. Alright, this is the longest run yet. I think we deserve a green item here. And I'm gonna try a different route. I'm gonna run this right side. It might be an easier way to aggro. And then I'm gonna turn. Yeah, I'm, I need to remember to turn Zenmai's combat off. Ah, I didn't have a lockpick. I thought I bought a lockpick. Let's run this way. Better. Night singer or Nightbringer is a little bit too far forward. I don't really like that. But look, the Hecates actually stayed back this time. All right, it's in my stop. All right, get out of here, guys. Oh, she's so slow. Go. All right. Oh, I think I'm so dead. I'm very dead. Do I got this? I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh. Just a rune. Okay, attempt number seven. Here we go. I'm gonna try and bring them way back. Here we go. This is the this is the type of aggro I'm looking for. Oh, never mind. He ran up. He ran up too much. So it's going okay.
Yeah, we got this. We got this. I'm going to go ahead and cast one migraine on him just to get his health a little bit low. And I should be able to handle it now. Got the flesh golem attacking him. Here we go. And now wait for our teammates to go away. And then we finish it off. This was the cleanest ever. If we don't get it this time, I'm gonna be upset. Oh. Okay, this is run eight. Kind of funny because I can't even get the bounty anymore because I hit level eight. So I'm my sun spirit. My sun spirit rank is too high for this area, at least in normal mode. Feels kind of crazy because I mean I'm only two ranks away from max level. I don't think I was. I mean I guess I did farm this quite a bit. But just from picking up the bounties whenever possible, you get a lot of Sun Spear points. And then doing the Masters, I think, in of the missions gives you more Sun Spear rank, maybe. I need to bring them a little bit farther back. Let's bring them all the way up here. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of this blood. Well, there we go. How long does it last? There we go. No? <laughs> I keep thinking it's gone away. Okay. Run, run, run. Aggro them up here. And they're in a better spot for my... I'm in a better spot to tell my henchmen to go away if we can fight up here rather than down in the water. Even though that choke point can be pretty nice, it's just better this way. Wow, they got melted. Alright, you guys can back away. Elias has a straight up army right now. I think we got him. Oh no, it got a blood well right on top of itself. Oh, this is gonna be close. It'll be very close. I think I might die. Oh, we got it. Oh, a max wailing wand. Is it even any good? Nope. 200 gold though. Alright, this is attempt number 9. I aggroed once. Died once. Oh, we got just the ad by itself. That's crazy. Oh, my teammates were set to avoid combat. That's why. Hit me with the rotting flesh. Remove it, please. Wait, let's aggro with the minions. And then we're good. She got this. We got this. We got this. We heal once. No, attack me, dude. What are you doing? Gosh. And... 
and that'll do it. Yes, we got the draw. <laughs> Finally. Ah, uh, nine attempts. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's a pretty good staff. It's 2020. Um, it's got an extra 20% for the casting time, so it has a really high chance of of having the casting time and then it also has a 20% recharge plus health it's a very interesting staff the nightbringer cool name cool skin cool stats all right that is our latest episode of noob proof farming mess the method it was a success this one took a while there's a lot of finicky stuff with the spawns and like the patrols it's kind of crazy we got the bow on the second attempt uh, and then we got the Nightbringer on the ninth attempt. So all together, I think, yeah, it took a few hours, I think. I'll have to add up the times. I think it, I think it was about, like, eight minutes per run. So, yeah. Just about, um, yeah, just about a, a, an hour and a half or two hours or something. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.